Right, I'm not being funny. <laughs> it's so hot in here. My laser is showing 32 degrees. The cabin temperature is showing 37 degrees. <laughs> I'm taking my t-shirt off. I'm keeping my shorts on, yeah? Right, fuselage. Got your two halves and then they're joined like so. Now, top tip. I found mine just a little bit tight, so just offer it up. If it's a little bit tight, I literally did that on every tooth. That's all I did. That was enough just for this little nail file just to get it to fit. So we're just going to glue these together on a flat bench. I am going to go dead risky and use medium cyano. And uh, I'll get back to you when we start installing the insides of the fuselage. Right, sides have been glued with medium sino. Um, just remember, obviously it doesn't say in instructions, but you need to pop all these out. Just be careful. Mine came out really nicely, but just have a sharp knife. Uh, and I'll tell you what I did was I just got myself um, a drill, two drill bits that fit in there and that uh, lined everything up. So uh, that's, so the next step is we're gonna start dropping the, uh, formers in i don't imagine that this is going to be anybody's first kit but whenever i'm using sino i've got the cabin door open and uh, i have just a fan blowing blowing everything out the door as much as possible so i'm going to sort out the formers and i'll get back to you right just a top tip um, I have got the F1 and this F1A in place. Now, I had to just adjust the thickness of the um, F1A to fit in, um, just to give it a little bit of a lick with the sandpaper. Also, just make sure that it's not standing proud here. I actually just gave it a couple of licks with the sandpaper because this is going to get sheeted, so you don't want this standing proud. So just check that. And now the next thing we're doing is I've got the servo tray and I've got these two for the uh, battery. Just a quick top tip. Um, with the two battery plates, there's your front one, there's the back one. Remember the back one tapers back to the back of the fuselage. I don't see any mention on the drawings at the moment, but that's just something that could just trick you out. And also it's slightly smaller. So the smaller one is obviously gonna go at the back where the fuselage begins to taper. Just make sure you've got your tapers around the right way. Right, there we go. F1, F1A, the two battery box retainers, the uh, servo tray. They're all in square, and I've also added on the uh, the inside the um, servo tray. That's I think this is for the rudder. So the next thing we've got to do is we're going to be joining these together. My suggestion is we. I think what I'm going to do is is they all appear. So plenty of trial fits for story before you start whacking glue on it. So uh, I'm going to glue in one and one A get them fixed and then the rest I'm just going to jiggle in afterwards um, I wouldn't personally I wouldn't risk trying to sign out all of that all in one it you might get lucky also when I'm going to do it I'm going to do it flat down on the bench like this so I'm going to do it flat on the bench because this is a flat surface and this means you can square up the fuselage quite nicely so I'm just going to do that and I'll get back to you right ho so Fuselage went together really well. Um, so I glued F1 and 1A in, and the front battery, those three I glued in, and then I just slowly squeezed it up. That went well. Really pleased with that. Now, the next thing is, is adding this triangular fillet. It's not that difficult. Um, the bottom one went in really well. The only thing you have to do is obviously taper it for the trailing edge. So I'll tell you what I did. I measured back 75 mil and then I actually planed mine. So the strip that I'd cut, you can see, look, look at that. Oh, uh, and just to get it absolutely dog on, 
I just put a bit of sandpaper like that and then wiped it once that way, put it in, so I'm doing both sides. That's gone together really well. I'm really pleased with that. So um, I've done those. I just need to check whether I put a fillet in here. I think we do. But, um, and we've got some of the extra ones putting in round the nose apparently. But anyway, that next thing is we're gonna be joining this at the back and then gluing that fillet there, which is really nice because that's got a nice join to it. Oh, top tip. Uh, you can see where I've just gone either side of the uh, servo tray. Now, the reason for this fillet is this is where all the sheeting's going to glue to. Um, and I've used medium cyano on that. I've had my fan running, door open. But, uh, yeah, so I, I wanted to crack on with this and... Uh, yeah, it's going on, it's going very well. I'll get back to you when I've glued, I'm just gonna literally glue this together, have a quick read of the plans, and then uh, we'll get on to the next stage. Right, uh, right, fuselage. Yeah, isn't it, well done. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna need is, this is for your undercarriage. This is for your battery box. So basically this is the thing that's gonna come up on and off to put your batteries in. Now, it mentions in the instructions that there's a little fairing for it. And I've managed to identify that. I'm gonna make a note to Mark, because um, that's what I'm assuming. We need two of these, which are in here, like so. And they are joined together. And they're gonna fit on the front bit, so that when they join together like so, um, you get a nice aerodynamic shape. So um, it does say you can glue the undercarriage mount on. I'm gonna glue my undercarriage mount on, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this in position and then do some work on the fairing. I'm gonna leave it taped in position, then I'm going to sheet the bottom decking, which means I'll get the lovely, the accurate finish. And then when I've done the sheeting, I can then take that off because obviously we've got more work to be doing and then I'm going to sheet the top as well out oh, and sheet this. But, uh, luckily, thanks to Leeds Model Centre, big shout out, ordered a motor, came the next day. So uh, boys and girls at Leeds Model Centre, big thumbs up and uh, I don't know if it's a wise thing or not, I've only ordered one prop. Right, let me crack on with this and I'll show you what I've done. Right, the undercarriage block is on, remembering to have the printed side facing so that you can actually know where the drill holes go. Um, this I've glued together, that was the two halves. Remember, this is gonna make a fairing. So let me just show you. That fits on there like so. And then this then fits on there like that. And this is sanded down to get a nice finish. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to glue these two together and then do a little bit of gentle sanding and then when I've done that this is just going to get taped in place and then we'll do the sheeting. Right, I am now starting the... so I've got undercarriage glued on, undercarriage plate is glued on. Um, this is this little... Uh, going to be the aerodynamic sort of tapering just sellotape this in place at the moment and now all I'm going to use uh, 1 32nd crossways grain I'm now just going to add this all the way along the bottom right I'm not being funny <laughs> it's so hot in here my laser is showing 32 degrees the cabin temperature is showing 37 degrees <laughs> I'm taking my t-shirt off. I'm keeping my shorts on, yeah? Don't go there. Right, now then, update. That sheeting went beautifully. Uh, there's the uh, fairing look with that little piece added. And then that drops on there like so. So we've got a bit of hardware to do with that, but we're just doing basic fuselage at the moment. I put my motor in. 
uh, which I will gonna add where I got it from, from good old Leeds Model Center. Um, I will leave you a link in the description of the build. Now, the final thing we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna sheet this, and we're gonna sheet this just back to where it changes angle. Um, and that's gonna be this, big boy stuff so that it's got so hot in it even my uh, gas strut in my chair just suddenly goes, just suddenly let's go anyway um, that's going on there so that's going on there that's going on there there there, there just to the back and then uh, we are done with the fusiles let me just finish this off and I'll get back to you. Um, you don't need to see me sand it up, but I'm looking at Mark's instructions. He says you can do plenty of uh, sanding because I've got those triangular fillets. And um, one thing I will say is, is I am not because of the heat. I'm not going to do the undercarriage at the moment. Um, I'll either come back one evening and do a little short video on doing that, um, or I might add it to when we do the next bit, which is going to be the wing. So it's going to be undercarriage wings. And we've got wings and ailerons and then it will just be the package of putting it all together right i'll just get this top sheeting done yoli moly one mini lancer fuselage um not that bad doing the trimming just be careful with this thick block um i would um roll over the sides um when you're doing the sanding don't go along because you might end up ripping bits out um i put my motor on already we're going to talk about that a little bit later the reason i put it on there is because i've glued that hatch on the top i think it'd be quite nice actually if this what well, had been removable but i know nothing about fun flight i mean you know this might last a long time this motor <laughs> so there you go look there's the hatch I'm really pleased with how that's come out so just remember what I did was obviously glued the uh, undercarriage plate in sellotape this well sorry Mark can take this in place and then put the sheeting in place um, so now uh, sorry that took a little bit longer yeah I'm afraid the weather was so hot I ended up going snorkeling swimming more swimming uh, anyway next episode is the wings